those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something about intercession for souls. When you are praying for souls, don't just pray blindly. Oh God, save them. No. Cry for an encounter with them and the Spirit of God. It's a collision one person must give up. If it's the Holy Spirit, no, 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 no. You can't hit the Holy Spirit and it goes back. It's a joke. If the Holy Spirit comes, it will swallow up every stubbornness. It was here some years ago while I was teaching on the reality of heaven and hell. One person who I think he was an Ustas or something like that had read Arabic was sitting in the overflow outside. I don't know how, the, I'm sure just for curiosity, just came to sit down and listen. And while I was speaking, all of a sudden, he said the moment I was speaking, it's as if outside just became blood and everywhere just vanished. And there he was, standing alone with Jesus, the son of the living God, while Koinonia was going on. That guy broke down, gave his life to Christ, God filled with the Holy Spirit. Now that's the Holy Spirit at work. Please listen. Many of us are suffering today because the heads of our home have thrown him out so he can come in he can come into your life but not your home because the doorway the priest of the house has willingly kicked him out many of our fathers don't recognize him many of our mothers don't recognize him you talk about him oh, please don't bring all those church church garbages you need to pray and say holy spirit you are the testifier of jesus you are the testifier of jesus i'll never forget one of the most awesome testimonies that we've had in this ministry one of our ladies uh, long before she left it was a non-christian family everyone then she was the first to get born again and kept growing and building and then gradually i think it was her mom who later got born again supernaturally a non-christian family not just a few people and then gradually i think her younger brother or dear about got born again everyone got born again and it was the dad that was left he was angry already persecuting them criticizing them you know you know what i'm talking about withdrawal of benefits etc etc and then one time i would never forget one night we we're preparing to go for prayers and this lady comes to me crying and saying the lord has done it god is faithful what happened i don't know what made the father to meander into living faith fire fell on his head that day do you know the holy spirit has a way of navigating a man who has no business going for a crusade he will just be passing and say what who is this guy shouting and stand there and that's it that's the end of it do you believe what i'm sharing with you his ministry to unbelievers if you know this never never get rid of anyone the holy spirit has not given up on are you hearing some of us have our brothers our sisters our loved ones they smoke around they snuff everything as stubborn as whatever you give them a bible they sell it and use the money to drink all kinds of things when the holy spirit meets them one day you will just see that gentleman who used to dress like a thief holding his bible and saying are we not going for koinonia and you say no, no oh it will happen oh it will happen in the name of jesus why are you surprised have you forgotten how you used to be have you forgotten so soon that the holy spirit can convict men